Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. First at four, I'm Christy Casciano. The Onondaga County Executive just wrapped up his weekly press conference saying COVID numbers look good in our community. And this week, testing will begin for local school districts. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan was at the briefing, joins us live with more. Andrew, so what do the logistics look like for testing? Christy, teachers will be asked to pre-register on the county health department's website. Then they can go right to the designated location on the designated days to get a coronavirus test. And the county said today it will cover the costs that insurance companies don't. So this should be entirely free for teachers and staff members of the respective school districts. Let's go to the list right now, the schedule. It just being uh, continued on in terms of the dates by the county executive. We knew a few of the districts. He's added more today. So let's start with what's scheduled this week. Testing at Lafayette High School for the districts of Lafayette and Onondaga. On Thursday, Tully, Fabius, Pompey. Friday, Jamesville, DeWitt, and CBA. Monday, looking to next week, these were just announced by the county executive, Baldwinsville. Tuesday, Jordan Elbridge, Marcellus, and Skinny Atlas. Wednesday, ESM in Lindcourt. Thursday, West Hill, Salve, the Catholic Diocese Schools. And on Friday, North Syracuse. Those are just the districts being served. If it's a smaller school, you'll want to uh, check and see the location. It might be at a neighboring school district, but the big school districts like North Syracuse will happen right there at CNS. Now, after teachers are tested, then the county will switch to seeing how they can test as many high schoolers as possible. Here's what the county executive had to say about the way the virus are, are hitting those older kids among kids in school. High schoolers are a little different. Um, we know that, especially some of these older high school students, they're more social. Uh, they have found pockets of the virus. They've spread it to each other. Uh, so uh, just like young people in their 20s, many of these folks don't get sympt symptoms, and they're asymptomatic at times. Those locations that we listed for you, again, just being announced by the county executive, so we're working now to get those on localsyr.com for you. I'll also tweet them out momentarily. You'll want to check at the location. They're 9 to 5 each and every day on the day that they're in your area. So we know this is something teachers and staff members have been watching closely for, Christy, and it's something the county has been working hard to make happen. Excellent update. Andrew, thank you.